Jake Quickenden, 32, has told how his five-month-old son Leo has helped him to cope with the deaths of his dad and brother. I've always tried to be a positive person and make the most of life but if I'm honest, I've always felt a void in my heart, losing my dad and brother. Leo has filled that, Jake told the Mirror. The former X Factor contestant became a dad in February after losing both his dad in 2008 and his younger brother Ali in 2012 to cancer. I've struggled to be completely happy but Leo feels like the last missing jigsaw piece. We've had a lot of things taken away from us in this family so it is nice to add something. Jake welcomed the birth of his son earlier this year with his girlfriend Sophie Church, 28, who was already mum to her son Freddie, 7, from a former relationship. Jake lost his own father at just 19 years old, something he doesn't want his son and stepson to experience. My dad was taken away quite early so I want to make as many amazing memories with Leo and Fred as I can, he told the newspaper. Leo was the subject of horrific abuse last week, with cruel social media trolls wishing death on the baby. The TV personality called on the Essex police for help and branded those behind the now-deleted Twitter page F King Disgrace. Jake has been open about the vile social media messages little Leo has endured at the hands of cruel trolls. Last Saturday, Jake shared a series of messages from an account called Jack Quickened and Baby is Yugi, sick, writing on Twitter, I can take some SHT. But Terry's a line you don't cross and wishing death on a baby is crazy behavior and whoever is behind it needs locking up. Sick sharing a screen grab of one of the anonymous account's messages, doting Father Jack tweeted Essex Police saying, Can someone from at Essex Police who surely help this page is disgusting. Need to find out who is behind it. Responding to rugby player Ryan Brierley, who also took to social media to share his disgust over the messages, Jake added, Yeah mate mad some sad jealous weirdo with nothing going for them so they wish death upon my baby. This is why social media needs to do more, I wish I could find out who it was. Thanking his fans for their support, Ryan added, Thanks guys, you know what I can take some test giving me SHT. But Terry's a line you don't cross and wishing death on a baby is just crazy behavior. The TV personality added, whoever is behind it needs locking up, how in 2021 can we not find out who are behind these fake accounts? Sick last month, Jake admitted he can't get his head around people who troll his young son Leo and thinks they must be hurting. Speaking on Loose Women in June, the doting father took the high road and said he hopes those who troll learn it's not right. He said, it was a bit strange, I've done TV long enough to know I'm going to get someone saying my teeth are too big. It's weird that we have to accept that. But then when it happened to Leo and people said a few nasty things I couldn't get my head around it. 